Here we are in our special refurbishment house. Do you remember the one with all the mould on? That's where we are now and we're really beginning to take shape. Uh, in fact, people are doing carpentry upstairs, I've got bits of dust in my eye and there's real progress because this is going to have inspection going on very, very soon so that the mortgage can be released because it's on 100% retention at the moment. What they did was they gave the mortgage but because it was not habitable after the flood then they've retained it. So what we're working towards, we've had five weeks to put together the property so that the inspectors can come around and then the mortgage is released. So you'll remember that we were plasterboarding, we were plastering, the whole works. And this room is really now beautiful and I do love the feel of this beautifully soft, fresh plaster. So let's go and have a look in that room that was covered in mould. Let's come through here. And now we have the most beautiful room um, with beautiful soft plaster on the walls and the ceilings. Okay, no more gaps in the ceilings. We've got the first fix electrics in here. And you can see that at the ensuite bathroom, the shower rooms. with a, a work site, everything just falls apart around you. So uh, if you come in here, uh, you can see that there's a shower unit, and wow, the size of that shower unit. This is a one and a half size uh, with the shower up here, and the, the tiles will go to the ceiling, they just haven't been completed yet. You can see Triton type of shower here that's put in as standard, um, with a lovely sink unit and toilet as well. I'll come out of the way so that we can show you what's here. And that's a lovely ensuite bathroom to this bedroom, which as I said before, can have double occupancy. So we can rent that out for two people to share, which is unusual in the area and so will attract a couple um, because there's not a lot of accommodation for couples. You can see where the extractor fan is gonna be on the wall out there, which will go straight to the outside. So if we take a look back into the room, uh, we'll just see that the, the room has been completed and there isn't a sign of mould on the wall or the treatment that's been done not only to the beams in the ceiling but all of the wall spaces beautifully plastered now it can have a clean coat of fresh paint. So in just four or five weeks you can see the difference that we can make from the clearance we had to do right the way through to this beautiful ensuite bedroom. Okay, watch out for the next in the series. This is number six, number seven coming soon. Take care.